Welcome to sixth grade language. This is lesson 160. You may be noticing that some of your lessons today say 159 in some way, say 160, and that is because we're catching everything up. Language is right on track, so 160 should be the lesson that we're on. Um, and I'm just trying not to overload you guys, but over the next week, some of uh, your other classes that are a lesson behind will get caught up. So <clears throat> don't worry about it. We'll just keep going. We're looking at our prepositions again. And so let's go ahead and sing our song. So if you need it, it's page 247. And we're going to start at the very first one. Okay. A board about above, across, after, against, along, among, around, at. These are the first ones before, behind, below, beneath, beside, between, beyond, by, down, during, except, for and from, in, inside, into, like, near, of, off, on, over, past, since, through, and throughout, to, toward, under, underneath, until, up, upon, with, within, without, now I am finished. All right, for homework today, you're going to write this list one time and memorize it if you do not know it, okay? And I will be sending your parents the link to the song um, and so that so they have that so um, you can listen to that at home, okay? <clears throat> All right, page 250 we're going to be doing, and so this is a story and you're going to underline all the prepositional phrases in the following paragraph. Remember that a word that looks like a preposition but is not followed by an object is probably an adverb, right? So um, before we jump into that, I'm going to go ahead and give you the answers to page 249, okay? We did the first two together, so they were number one was adverb and number two was preposition. All right, so I'm just going to go down the list, um, and uh, for number two, you circle door. So I'll do that uh, as I go. Okay, number three is adverb. Number four is preposition, circle stair, stairs. Number five is preposition, circle road. Number six is adverb. Number seven is adverb. Number eight is preposition, circle town. Number nine is adverb. Number 10 is preposition, circle mountains. Number seven is adverb. Number 12 is preposition, circle soil. Number 13 is preposition, circle street. Number 14 is adverb. Number 15 is adverb. And number 16 is preposition, circle corner. All right, I hope you did well with those. If you uh, didn't get them, just make sure to mark the right ones so you can use that to study. All right. So um, let's find the, the prepositional phrases in the very first sentence, okay? The puffin is a water bird that breeds on islands off the Atlantic coast from Greenland to Maine and spends its winters at sea, okay? So we've got the puffin is a water bird that breeds on islands, okay? Where is your first preposition? On, okay? On islands, you should underline. What about off the Atlantic coast? Okay, underline that. From Greenland to Maine, so you can underline both of those. And spends its winters at sea. Is there another one? At sea, okay. So there are one, two, three, four, five prepositional phrases in that first sentence. All right, so you won't find quite as many in every sentence, but some of them have more than others. Um, so I want you to make sure that you look for your prepositional phrases um, and, and get all of those. So let's, let's see, right C says to is a preposition, T-O is a preposition, T-O-O -O is an adverb, and T-W-O is a noun or an adjective. On notebook paper, write one sentence with each word, okay? Um, remember D is to mark this part of speech abbreviation above each word in the following sentence. And if you notice, at the end it says Romans 3.23, this is a Bible verse, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. So you're going to do that. And for the homework, and so let me just check on one thing. 
All right, just, I uh, just wanted to check on this. There are 26 prepositional phrases in that paragraph. So that, that'll help you find them. And that is including the first five that we've already found. So 26, find 21 more after those ones that we found. Don't forget to do write C and remember D and write your preposition list or homework and memorize it. And so listening to that song will be of great help um, for memorizing that. And so we've got your book report coming up. Hold on. All right, sorry about that. I just had to double check. So your book report needs to be read by next Wednesday. So I would, if you are, uh, if you have a lot to read still in your book, I would take this weekend, take some time and just sit and read a good bit of it. Now, you know, if you uh, don't neglect your chores or, or whatever else, but if, you know, you're, you've got quite a bit to read, just let your parents know. Say, okay, I've got this much that I need to read. Can I have some time to do this? And I'm sure that they'll all say, that of course you can have time to read a class uh, book that you need uh, to to have read so um, just make sure that that is done um, so on wednesday you're going to start writing the long form book report that's due by friday if you finish reading your book early and you want to start that report you may do that um, it's on it's in the back of your book pages 271 to 276 are all the pages on that long form book report. The sample is back there as well on the Anne of Green Gables sample um, that we've looked at before. So do it in that format and um, then you'll have that turned in by next week with um, your all of your papers um, that you're turning in at the end of next week. So, all right. This was a little bit shorter of a lesson, but there wasn't much. So go ahead and I'll let you do page 250. And don't forget the homework. And don't forget to read your book report book. And uh, have a good rest of the day and a good weekend. Um, and we'll see you in the next lesson.